Hey, what's going on guys? This is Modi. Today I have a new uh, tutorial for you for Gears of War Judgment, and that's how to find the ghostly epic reaper. Um, if you guys don't know what the epic reaper is, he is a character that epic employees and selected people from the community can play as. Um, but anyway, here we go. What you need to do is you need to go to a private free-for-all. That's what I did, and you have to have at least one bot to play private free-for-all. Um, but you go into private free-for-all, and you have to go to these paintings um, and cl sh sh shoot these notes that are under these paintings. The paintings will have eyes. Their eyes will point towards the note that you have to shoot. And um, from what I've tested, you have to shoot it with your pistol. So don't get rid of your pistol. Um, everything has to be shot with your pistol. So um, I'm going to start the match right now. It doesn't matter what you started with. You need frags, though. You do need frags. And... Uh, before you go on any of these, unless you do it with friends, uh, you want to pick up an ammo box before you go into this area that I'm going to show you so you can have double nades. Um, the double nades are used for um, the first part of the glitch, or not the glitch, the easter egg that you're going to be doing here. And uh, what you need to do is first, you need to go get an ammo box. Once I spawn, um, I spawn near one, thank god, but... Uh, you go to the ammo box, get some ammo, and then you should get a grenade with it. And then once you head, uh, get to the grenade, or get the nade, you go to the area with the one shot. And I'm going to go up there in a little bit. Um, you just, yeah, go up, wherever you spawn, you just make sure you don't get killed by the bot. I almost <laughs> get killed by him a little bit later, I think. But yeah, you just go up here, open the door, and head upstairs. And then there's this little area right up there. You want to chuck the nades right up there. Wait for it to explode, and then chuck the other one. And then after that, a painting should fall, as you just saw right there. Uh, it's a painting of some old dude, and then he drops a note along with him. Uh, you want to do is you want to shoot with your pistol, and then that'll show up. The screen will go black, and then a flame will appear over his head that's on a uh, cog. A cog wheel. Uh, after this, you want to go to... I mean, you don't have to exactly follow these steps here. I just do this first. You want to find those paintings, and they'll look... Their eyes will be pointing towards the note. Uh, for some of them. See, so yeah, I just got killed by the bot there. But you want to find the note, and I show you where they all are, and you just shoot it, and just keep going. Uh, the next one is down these stairs, uh, or to the right, whatever area you decide to go to. I just advise you follow this video. Um, right there on the windowsill. Takes a little bit. Um... After you go up there, you know, go up the stairs and go through this area. If you notice, it's a it's a little lighter out. I don't, I, I can't really tell if that's normal because I really don't pay attention to multiplayer. But yeah, there's the other guy. It's near the uh, pot plant. After you hit that, you know, the screen goes black again, and uh, you want to go up these stairs now to where the snipe spawns. That's where the next note's gonna be. This one was a little tricky. Um, it's right in between these stairs right there and that big pole right there. If you shoot that and then head down these stairs or you can jump off. I don't know why I didn't jump off. It's easier but um, just head this way. Head to the right and then uh, near the animal box you want to take a right here and there's another painting and the note's right under the couch. Uh, make sure you get some ammo because when you fight this reaper it's gonna be pretty difficult. <laughs> You'll see why in a little bit. Um, the next one's right in here, where the secret bookcase is. He's, the note's right in the painting, but this one seems a little hard to, to activate. Like, I shoot it a couple times, as you see, and it doesn't do anything. And then I go at an angle, so maybe try the angle first. Uh, after that, go to the bookcase. Open the bookcase, head in there. And to the right, when you get to the scenery grenades, is one right there. Right above the, uh, covered piano or table or whatever that is. And, um... Here I go. Get as much ammo as you can. Trust me, because he's gonna he's gonna be a bitch to kill. Uh, I get a lucky nade kill on him, so it's <laughs> it's takes a little bit. Some people, you know, I got lucky. I played earlier to test it, and he wasn't as hard as he is in this video. He pulls out, and just fair warning, he pulls out any weapon he wants. He can pull out a bush gun, a nasher, a lancer, a pistol. But yeah, there it is. And then as you see. And you hear the ominous sounds. The painting lights up, and there he is. It's a ghostly epic reaper flipping a book. I'm guessing like the pages were like part of his journal or something. And then he goes back into the painting, and what we want to do is you want to shoot the painting with your pistol. Only works with your pistol. And then there he is. You go into a little arena, and you fight him 1v1. 
Uh, he's really difficult, though. I almost get him, but then he pulls out a bush gun out of his ass and kills him. And then if you hear him, he says, free me, right after you kill him. It's pretty cool. Uh, I die again, and you, if you didn't hear it the first time and you don't want to go back, you'll, he'll say it again. Uh, it's it's really cool. It's a really cool little Easter egg. Yeah, he spawns with Bushka. And then there he is right there. He said it again. It's pretty cool. I didn't realize it the first time I played through this to test the Easter egg. Uh, but it's a pretty cool little thing to twist in there. And uh, I go through it a third time. I do die again, but I uh, stick him in the face with a nade. It's pretty cool. <laughs> I didn't really expect to get this throw, but I did. Thank God. Wouldn't want to keep doing this over and over again. But right there, got him in the face. And then when he dies, Krill show up where he died at, and then you get you get teleported back onto the map. So I mean, it's not anything really important. You didn't miss anything from me dying, just him, just Krill flying out of him stuff. So I hope you all enjoyed. Please like, comment, and subscribe. And as I said, hope you guys have fun with this Easter egg. Peace out.